Okay, who are you? Who the heck are I'm you? I'm Danny Baker, VP of Development with Blytheco. We're going to show you B-Mobile for Mass 90 200 at Insights 2009. And what does B-Mobile do? B-Mobile is a web-enabled Mass 90. So think of it as Mass 90 on the web, but it basically deploys the product out on a web-enabled platform for iPhones, Macintoshes, Windows, Linux, and Ubuntu. So multi-platform, multi-support. And it provides that extended capability for remote people traveling or on the road or whatnot. So that's what we're going to show today. Basically, what you're seeing here is the login screen of the application. Standard Mass 90 functionality. It's going to load up and you're actually going to get a menu structure on your screen. And what you're seeing is a context-sensitive uh, uh, menu system. So based on your user, you will only see the items. This is a, a master user, so you see all items. You'd only see the modules you're access to. And if you go in, you're actually going to see full menu structure as you would normally see in Mass 90, 200. To open an app, you just double, to open a, a screen, you just double click on the application. You'll notice the customer maintenance screen pops. We'll actually go over, launch the next customer. You'll see their standard memo pops. And then basically we're in standard functionality that you get in the Mass 90 application itself. So you can see I can navigate through this customer, understanding all the detail of the customer. The one nice area about, for instance, Firefox is you can see I can have multiple tabs open for different companies and different applications. So for instance, if I wanted to go back and open up sales order, I would just go down to our sales order entry here. And I'll actually fire up the sales order entry screen and you'll see it's another tab on the browser. So it's like having multiple applications open at the same time. Very rich functionality. Printing is handled through PDF, so if we print from it, we have access to that. And basically closing down the app carries you back to the menu structure. A couple nice areas you'll note is this is compliant on Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Safari. It's going to be the supported client platforms. Um, and basically you'll notice a couple of key areas. You have the launcher menu, the recent history area. You're going to have your news section and B-Mobile links, which these are going to be customizable, um, ideally in production release. But it is multi-company support. So all I need to do is to switch a company to an extended solutions company, is change it, and now I'm in the extended solutions company. And you'll notice your traditional counting date at the bottom. That's how you set your uh, standard date. So very much the same functionality, user feel you'll get with the Mass 9200 app, you'll get it in this application as well. Now this is also going to do some uh, pretty cool things in terms of the mobile apps. T tell us a little more about what we're going to be able to do with that, because you have some toys here. Great. On the mobile apps, let me just get a reset here. On the mobile apps, we actually have the ability to run the same application on the uh, mobile. You're looking at an iPod Touch, and on the iPod Touch, it's very sim similar to the iPhone application, but it gives us the ability just to see the same menu structure on the iPhone that we're actually seeing on the main structure. So I can go in, I can actually drill into customer maintenance, and the really uh, neat area of this is on the iPhone, whether you're Wi-Fi or remote or uh, 3G GPS, you're going to get a return result. I'll flip the screen sideways. You'll notice you have your customer screen, and I can do the standard drill out, and there's the customer maintenance screen. Same functionality as you actually have in, um, with the iPhone and with any app on the iPhone, but it's just the ability to manage it. You can scroll, use standard touch screen, navigate the, the objects, and when you close out of the screen, it actually will just carry you back to your traditional menu structure. And I'm using standard, uh, we have standard form factor for iPhone. We're working on BlackBerry and also we're working on the Windows Mobility platforms. What about people that have uh, extended solutions or customizations? How does that work with this? Currently, extended solutions and many of your mass items will do a pass-through, so we're not recoding anything. This is actually a codeless change to Mass 90. It sits parallel in a parallel structure to Mass 90. So, there, in, in effect, we don't really need to worry about the code. We have tested through, and we're going to test through more extended solutions, but out of the box, we've tested national accounts and some extended solutions. They pass through and work. We are going to do a compatible program with the bigger uh, bars, like, for instance, Synergistics Job Ops and um, others as we go through the process. So we'll basically recertify their screens in and make sure they're all working. So we're going to work closely with them to make sure the app can handle most of the clients. And cost and availability. Cost and availability. We're looking at a mid-summer release right now. We are looking for resellers to help us uh, in the beta cycle, as well as obviously resellers to help us get the product um, out to their client base and understand their specific uses and what we can do for it. As far as pricing on a five user system, there's four elements. There's the foundation server, the iPhone or smartphone capability, 
there is the what we call sales service, which is where a customer can enter their own sales order. We'll expose just certain screens like sales order and customer inquiry. And there's a BIE analytics component, which those four pieces for five users is going to be right around the $5,000 mark. So looking at it, we're trying to be the price point competitive. Also note that user licensing cannot exceed your MAS 90, but you can have less users. So if you have a 20 user MAS 90, you basically could purchase a five user pilot if you were only rolling this out initially. So we're actually trying to flex the licensing to help with those rollout strategies. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.